Safi kabisa mtazamaji habari za hivi ni kwamba USA Ambassador in Kenya Meg Whitman announces her resignation. USA Ambassador nchini Kenya ameweza kujiuzulu sasa hivi wakati huu tunapozungumza. Kidogo tu kabla ni kusomea barua hiyo yake ya kujiuzulu aliyoweza kuichapisha sasa hivi katika magazeti ya kiserikali. Ningependa kukwambia kwamba nimetambua kwamba wengi wenu mnasikiliza taarifa kabla hamja like video na wala wengi ya ja subscribe hivyo basi kwa moyo mkunjufu chukua sekunde ya kumoja bonyeza alama ya like kisha bonyeza neno subscribe itakuwa kama malipo yako kwangu na itakuwa umenisaidia kwa sana USA ambassador in Kenya Meg Whitman says that she has resigned from the office mtazamaji katika barua iliyoweza kusambazwa sasa hivi statement by the US ambassador to Kenya Meg Whitman mnamo Novemba tarehe 13 mwaka 2024 ameweza kujiuzulu katika bari barua hiyo kama unavotazama kwenye screen yako nikiisoma today i announced my team at the us embassy that i submitted my resignation to president biden it has been an honor and privilege to serve the american people through strengthening our partnership with kenya i am proud of leading a people centered agenda that saves lives increasing security and creates economic opportunities for kenyans and americans from delivering emergency funding to alleviate catastrophic flooding in 2023 to the ongoing fight against malaria, HIV and mpox, the US government prioritizes the health and welfare of our friends in Kenya. This year, the United States elevated Kenya as its first major non-NATO ally in sub-Saharan Africa, reflecting the importance our countries place on standing shoulder to shoulder to protect our shared democratic values and enhance security my efforts also opened the door for more american comp companies to do business in kenya when i arrived in 2022 i focused on expanding these ties with my why africa why kenya presentation to american companies and entrepreneurs trade jobs and us investment in kenya are, are at historic highs because of efforts we also responded to the skyrocketing demand demand for our consular services reducing wait times for non immigrant visa appointments from more than 2 years to about 2 months among other enhancement like USA ambassadors i serve at the request of the president the american people have spoken and a new president will be inaugurated in january i wish him and his new team success our embassy benefits from highly skilled kenyan and american employees who will continue their efforts under the leadership ship of charge the affairs mark dillard to advance the shared goals on which our bilateral relationship has long been grounded i have no doubt that our 60 years we'll of partnership to will and serve americans and kenyans as we aim to build more prosperous a healthy secure and democratic and nations our relations are stronger than ever i am confident this trajectory will continue i will depart kenya full of gratitude from for the team that has worked tirelessly on my behalf for the opportunity to serve my country and for the friendship offered by the government and the people of the beautiful Republic of Kenya. Mtazamaji hii ni kwambie ni pigo kubwa kwa Rais William Ruto kwani Meg Whitman alikuwa mkaribu wake na walionekana pamoja mara kwa mara sasa hivi baada Biden kuweza kustafu na kuchaguliwa Trump kama rais mpya wa taifa hilo la Uingereza. Sasa hivi William Ruto anatarajiwa kumpokea ambasada mpya ambao ataweza kuandikwa kazi na taifa hilo la US. Je, maoni yako kwa mtazamo wako ni upi kulingana na ripoti hizi za hivi punde? Na kuacha uwanja huu wa comment section, kumbuka ku like video hii, kisha usubscribe kwa taarifa zaidi.